Today I want to show you three very important XT plugins that can ease your work and that are very frequently used plugins. So the first one is this person does not exist. So if you are designing an application or a website where you have to place dummy profile images. So the one method is that go to Google, write face images. You can follow a website to download the images. For example, I want to place this image. Okay, now I have to click on it. I have to save the file or I can copy image, then get back to Adobe XT, paste the image, resize the image, draw a circle, and then creating a mask. So this is the one method that how you can show a dummy profile images images inside your mobile application or a website so the second method is to make use of a plugin and that is this person does not exist so i have a, a screen so there we have to show profile images and dummy profile images so just create a shape for example you want to show a picture inside a rectangle or you want to display inside a circle it's it's your decision let's apply the image on one circle at this time so just select the circle click on this person does not exist it will take some time and there we have so if if this profile images does not suit your uh, the application you are designing click again on this button so it will work and it will create another image so it's look more professional now let's apply dummy images on other screens on other shapes select all click on this person does not exist and it will start applying the images on the shapes you selected so there is a picture of a child if you do not want this image click on it and let's create another image so if the images are good then this is how you can apply dummy profile images human faces to your application design so this is a very quick process as compared to downloading images from a third party website and then creating a mask i believe that you can save a lot of time while using this plugin so let's move on to the next one and the next one is swap positions so let's get to an example so for example we have uh, this screen and there we have two check boxes so i really want to showcase in my design that at this position i want the item to be checked so i have already uh, another icon that is a checked icon let's create a copy of it so let's press alt from your keyboard and drag this so it will create a copy just install this plugin swap positions and just go to plugins browse and let's write swap position and you will get this plugin so this is the swap position right so now what you have to do is so when i hover on the swap position plugin so there i get the shortcut key shift command and x so let's select both of the icons and let's press shift command and x so it will swap these two icons actually their positions so let's delete this one and this is how we can quickly uh, replace the position of the icons so you can also make use of uh, maybe some other place for example uh, you really want to replace their positions you want this icon at the first place and then this one at the second place so just select these two and swap their positions so this it is very quickly and this is how you can make use of this plugin and it can it can ease a lot of your tasks and you can save a lot of your time so for example we are on this page and you want this linkedin button at the top and this facebook button at the bottom so let's select these two and press shift command and x so it's very quick 
and effective. So I hope this is a very useful plugin and you can make use of it. The third plugin is split text. So there is an example that if you are designing a drop down menu and there we have multiple options. So the one method is just write all the options. For example, cat is splain, press enter, write Cairo, Egypt, press enter. And there we have all the names inside the one layer of text now we really want to split all these into different layers so select this layer of text and click on split text by new line and let's ungroup it now you can select them individual you can move them you can change the properties you can change the typeface or you can change the colors so this is how you can make use of the split text plugin so i hope that these three plugins may help you in speed up your process it may save a lot of your time while creating different uh, projects so do place a comment that how do you find all these three plugins and how they become a useful tool to assist your design process see you in the next lesson thank you so much